happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope you guys are getting over the hump. And I have to ask my favorite question. Where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, hey. a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, B.K.A. The People's Jump Band. And why are you them, cutting me off? You want to tell them why you've be, you been doing the weak-ass gym stars for the last couple of days? Because of my throat? You have to tell them. They don't know oh, that. Well, okay, so you guys know that, you know, after Christmas, I got sick with the flu. And you know how you get better, but you still got like this cough or whatever. So it may sound like I'm out of breath because like, I feel like I need to cough because I got some remnants left over. So, you know. That's all it is. That's, that, that's all they it is. Yeah. I mean, I'm just still sick. I was sick and I'm still sick. Continue. You just really messed up. Where's all of my gems? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did I even get through my introduction? Nope. Just do it again. Oh, where's all of my gym stars? Take three. That was take three, right? Yeah. Okay. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. First from the Salon, B.K.A. The People Jump Back. And so today, we are not doing a comparison, but it is more of a poll question. And for all of my old heads out there, what was the first CD you purchased? What was the first CD you purchased? For me, it was Whitney Houston, the greatest hits album. Huge Whitney Houston fan over here, so that was my favorite one. The first one that was ever given to me was Aaliyah, a uh, four-page letter. What huge, was your favorite? Huge, huge Whitney Houston fan. Huge. Then you tell you said you call me Whitney. I knew you was gonna tell say him. that. Okay, so when I was younger, young, a little bitty tiny Whitney Houston. Like she's the biggest Whitney Houston fan ever. So I used to have my family to call me Whitney. Instead of... But every, everybody did that. I thought I was a damn Black Ranger, and I told them to call me Zach. So, it is... Yeah, so, it is. They, so, so I asked them to call me Whitney, but not Whitty Hutton. My old heads know all about the Whitty <laughs> Hutton, so... <laughs> anyway, my first CD... Uh, yeah, but I used, to, I used to tell people... I, used to, I thought I was the uh, the Donatello, the Ninja Turtle. Uh -huh. They call me Donatello. Don't call me no dog. So, so everybody did that stuff. Yeah. Y'all, y'all, let me know who y'all told people to call y'all. Anyway... What was your um, first album? I'm about to tell oh, y'all. Okay. My first CD that I ever got... You know, it was broke as hell, but Chasing Dreams. Um, The first CD that I ever got was... um. Back in the day, they used to send you those free CDs, and then you pay a penny, and then you get, oh, you get all of them. Oh, my goodness. My first CD they ever sent me, they sent it for free. It was Matchbox 20, uh, Real Ooh, World. Wow. Straight up, what did you hope to learn about here? I wish there someone I, I, I know the song, but I was like, oh, yeah. when did that come out? That was like 96, 97, maybe? Really? 95, 96, 97, oh, something okay. like that. But, but I got to see, it, they sent it to me through like a tech magazine. But yeah. the first CD that I ever bought mm -hmm. was the uh, was the TRU album, Master P TRU, mm -hmm. the, uh, the one with Make Em Say Um. Oh, my personal. goodness. Yeah. Okay. The very yeah, my, yeah, it my might brother. Not have been no, no, no. It was. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, 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 mm. No Limit Soldiers on That was probably first, when uh, they were coming out with the album every week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really. They Dead really CD. did. Yeah. So the first CD I ever got was Matchbox 20, but the okay. first CD that, you that I ever bought was TRU. I think it would have been Outkast, but yeah. Oh, no, we stole those. <gasps> What? Oh my shame! No, I think I want to say that that Outkast album came out after that. We ain't steal them, but under we three thousand. If you watching this, my home, so my homeboy's dad worked at the place where they made the CDs, so I didn't have to buy a lot of CDs. But the first one I bought, they didn't print that CRU CD there though, so we ain't steal them. We just like got them discounted. My mama worked there, Was too. Was it five finger my, my mama worked there, too. I ain't want to incriminate my mama. But she you incriminate your uncle or, or your Shut father. Shut up! Just keep going on. That was anyway, the first so that way, okay, we got to move on <laughs> to the next one. But drop it down below what you uh, what was your first album that you purchased. Okay, so second with um, fun news. So, y'all, I don't know if you ever guys ever heard the story about Diego, but they used Diego to... um Father. Father. Look at that turtle laying on his bike. 800 offsprings, and now they sending him back to the Galapagos. Island, Island of Galapagos. The Island of Galapagos. Because they was like, we got all we need from you. You can go back. Like, how do you whore a turtle out? How? Turtle, turtle, turtle. Turtle, turtle. All right, keep going. Okay. Look at so, that baby. That baby laying bike on So, him, yeah. Right? So, I, I think it is pretty cool because we have so many species that's going instinct. Extinct. God, I cannot talk. Extinct. There you go. 
extinct. Yes, yeah, so I think it was cool that he was able to, you know, um, father over 800 or father at least 800. He was captured 80 years ago. That just lets you know how long they live. Yeah, and yeah, and, he, and he's 100 years old. Right. So we have, we do have a turtle. Uh, we have a, a, turtle. Black, a black red ear. ear turtle. Yeah, we have a red ear turtle. His name is Mr. Egg, so he's kind of cool. And they live 30 years at least. Yeah. So, and Mr. Egg only five years into that cycle, so yeah. there we go. All right. So, uh, want to give a huge congratulations to Kyrie Leonard for... Kawhi. Why I keep saying Kyrie? Because you, because I was talking about Kyrie Irving before we started. Yeah, I'm messing up so bad today, but it's okay nah, because did. I'm trying to get over the hump. It's, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. So, Kawhi Leonard scored his... Uh, they had a 43-point career game last night. First time ever, so congratulations to him for that. And that game ended up being, what, 128 to 103 yep, 120 against to the 103. Cleveland Cavaliers. Yeah, but well, they taking turns busting the Cavaliers down oh. over there because the, uh, my Lakers beat them the other day. Okay. And speaking of my Lakers. Speaking of Lakers, we got to uh, see what Uncle Snoop talking about. Speaking of Lakers, Uncle Snoop has something to say. Have a I, listen. I say Uncle Snoop. Uncle Snoop say he got something to say. Let's see what he talking about. But he ain't the best motherfucking 20-year-old to ever play in the fucking NBA. Don't you ever disrespect Moses Malone, nigga. <laughs> Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Kevin Garnett. All them niggas was 20 years old. They was dogs, and the league was harder to play in. This soft-ass league, and he still can't do nothing. We blowing their asses out right now. Look at the Lakers. <laughs> blowing their dog asses out. He only got 14 points. Talking about he the greatest 20-year-old of all time. Probably in Europe, not in America. He good, but he ain't the best 20-year-old I ever seen. And I've been watching basketball since the 70s, nigga. <laughs> so Snoop was just like... Put that on Sports Talk Radio. <laughs> <laughs> so Snoop was like, how dare you? How dare you? All of these other players that have come before Luca, y'all gonna say he's the greatest 20 year old to ever be in the league? Man, stop it! And he's, I'm not saying that he's not good, but he ain't the greatest. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a great player. He's an awesome player. I don't even know if he was better. Well, he probably, I don't know how old Giannis is right now. Giannis might be 26, so he probably was better than Giannis was at 20. But I don't think he's better than Giannis is right now. He's a great player, though, and all that good stuff, man. Well, anyway, that's all I got from you. It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. The People's Chill Fat. Make sure you drop it down below. Which, uh, what was your favorite album? And don't forget to hit that like button and smash it down. I'm favorite out. CD? Album CD, damn. Oh, album. Okay, yeah. album. Okay. Yeah. Get out my seat. Just get out my seat. Anyway, man, so off the back of what Snoop was saying, man, I need y'all to let me know. This is who y'all going with today? LeBron James or Luka Doncic? Damn it, I say LeBron James. Dang, yeah, Father Time catching up with him. He got a little gray right there. Uh, Luka Dante, who do you think was the better 20-year-old? Now, I know it's hard to say. I, I know it's hard to, to separate the two, but we got to, right? We got we to separate the two, and we have to say, you know, which one was better at 20. LeBron James was, very, was tough as nails at 20, but was he better than Luka Dante was at 20? Um, I think LeBron James was taking his team to the to the finals or at least to the conference finals back then and just straight carrying the Cavs. I don't know. I don't know when their first conference finals was. I'm going to have to go with GOAT James just because I'm going with GOAT James. I'm an old head hater. But, hey, the new the new generation, they probably, like I said, what Snoop was talking about too, and you got Kareem and all them guys that played back then, man. But the thing is, they didn't shoot a lot of threes. And rookies really didn't play that much unless you were exceptional back then. So, I mean, it was a different game. So, I mean, it is what it is. But anyway, let's get the basketball news right quick and we're going to go on. Uh, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, though. Was LeBron James better than Luka at 20 or is Luka, uh, you know, better? Because, I mean, Luka has been playing ba uh, pro ball since he was like 12. So, let's, let's be real about that. So, I definitely think he's got a more polished game. But as we talked about yesterday, better and better and... Um, more polished or different, just like better and greater, some more uh, different. Anyway, uh, where we at, man? We nine minutes in. Oh, this is going to be a breeze. Hey, look here, man. Check this out. Last night, the Suns go down to the uh, to the uh, Hawks, 123 to 110. Uh, Trey Young, 36 points, four rebounds, 10 assists. One spectacular assist. That last assist was so good. And, uh, and, uh, 
Devin Booker, 39 points, seven rebounds, and three assists. Devin Booker got himself ejected at the end of that game. He, he went through the lane, dunked on somebody. He already had a tech, and he looked at it. You know, he stared him down and talked and was talking, and they and they teed him up and threw him out of the game. That Do was I, dumb. That was, yes, that was dumb. You got to be smarter than that, Devin. Like, you know, you, if you're already carrying one tech, you know you can't do anything or they're gonna get you up out of the game and, and you was in atlanta too so you already knew what time that was man that was just silly you got to be smarter than this you got to be thinking you always got to be you can't cost your team a game like that but trey young had already gone off in the fourth quarter anyway he had 21 points in the fourth quarter to end that game and um i mean bro two plays in that fourth quarter that that let me know that trey young is playing on a different echelon or he's uh, he's our point guard for the future man Look, he came down court, he dribbled, 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 dribbled the, dribbled the air out the ball, and then it was like three seconds left. He had to throw up a bad shot. He missed the shot, but instead of instead of crying about it or, do, or you know getting mad, he got back on defense, took a charge from uh, Aiden, from DeAndre Aiden, took a charge before they even got down there. It was an off-ball charge. It was, a, it was an awesome play if you know basketball. He took an off-ball charge, got the ball back, and then they came up, look, that was play number one. Then they came up court, they were running a, big, a hard trap on um, on Trey. He passed the ball around, they gave it back to him. It's like four seconds left on the shot clock. You got a cutter to the rim. Uh, the same person that got dunked on, I forgot what his name is. I can't think of what his name is, man. I, if I see the name, I can tell you. Um, because I can go straight to it. Yeah, Dem uh, Bembry. Uh, Bembry was cutting to the rim. Trey Young was literally at half court with two people on him, and he throws an alley. Bimbry comes through, catches it backwards, and ha! And right! And then that was pretty much the game right there. Two awesome plays that they, they probably not even gonna put on Sports Center or anything like that. But I felt like the charge was better than that. And when he and when he took the charge, he got up and looked at the coach and said, "That's my fault, coach. That's my bad." So like that just shows the maturity or whatever. But hey, they beat they beat the um they beat the Suns, and uh, that's that. Jazz over the Nets, 118 to 107. Uh, Joe Ingles, 27 points, three rebounds and four assists. Kyrie Irving, 32 points, five rebounds and, and 11 assists, showing that he's he's still hooping, uh, you know, in his return. Wasn't Kyrie uh, 20 in the league? And wasn't he tough as nails? Wasn't he 20? I want to say he was 20, and he was tough as nails too. Um, anyway, the Rockets lose to the Grizzles. John Morant is tough as nails too, man. John Morant is having a heck of a rookie year, man. 26 points, five rebounds, eight assists. Uh, James Harden, 41 points, six rebounds, and six assists. Uh, but they, they took the L. And John Morant, like I said, is continuing to show that in this rookie campaign, it's no joke. Like, he's playing the game at another level. It's like almost like, like he first of all, he long as hell. And just his movement with the ball, He's already, the game is already slowing down for him. And that's big when you're playing basketball, man. So, you know, it is what it is. The Bucks over the Knicks. Uh, who expected anything else? Julius Randle, 25 points, 15 rebounds, and three assists. Uh, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo, 37 points, nine rebounds, four assists. Um, the Cavaliers lose to the Clippers. They taking turns busting them down, like we said. Uh, Colin Sexton, 25 points, uh, one rebound, one assist. Kawhi Leonard, 43 points, fourth right. <laughs> three rebounds and four assists and last but not least the Warriors lose to the Mavericks um who is Powell man I, I forgot what his name is man I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not even gonna cap Dwight Powell oh okay yeah I know him when I see him Dwight Powell 21 points six rebounds two assists and uh who the heck is Pooh bro who is this Jordan Poole? Okay, bet. I don't watch none of that basketball like that, man. I'm not even going to lie to you. Uh, 17 points, two rebounds, and five assists. I got to get more familiar with these guys and their names because, look, this I knew who Colin Sexton was, though. Hey, he tough as nails, too. Wasn't he 20 also? But, hey, I, I ain't, I'm not saying he's on Lucas, he on Lucas uh, level, but I'm just saying he was 22. Uh, but, anyway, uh, like I said, uh, Dwight Powell, 21.6 rebounds, two assists. Um... Who did we say Poole was, bro? I just, I just completely forgot. This is the old head. Jordan Poole, uh, 17 points, two rebounds, and five assists. I don't think anybody other than the Warriors know who these guys are, man, just because nobody ain't watching no Warriors basketball because all the fake Warriors uh, Warriors uh, fans is gone. But anyway, continuing on, man, check this out, man. Congratulations. Hey, we got the NBA 2K League. We They done their thing, man. Congratulations to the 150 combine participants who made it who made the draft pool uh, for season three. Thank you to everyone. Dimer also put it out. If you are in the 176 and email with the conditional offer from the 2K League, tag us. 
um, you know, and they'll and you'll find out. And Dimer, uh, they've been retweeting and stuff like that, um, pretty much all day. You know, retweets and replies and stuff like that. So they they've been talking about the people who've made it and all of that good stuff, man. Um, it's, it's been it's been cool to see one of the more, the more notable names. Like we already know the other people, but Chalk actually made the 150. And uh, you know, said wasn't sure of the right way or the right time to announce this, but here it is. Uh, we made it, fellas. See y'all at the draft. Now, this does not mean that you've made it. It just means that you're eligible to be drafted. Now, we're going to be bringing back a lot of players. I don't know if the players... I don't know if the players that... Uh, like, if, if like Bear and all those guys are in here uh, and all that good stuff, I don't know how that works. I think the way it is is that they are part of the 150, but they are protected, so they're going back to their respective teams and all that good stuff, but I'm not absolutely sure how it works. But hey, Chalk made it. Godspeed to that young man. Up next, we have a message from Mamba Brown, man. I just want I want y'all to get y'all opinion on this, man. I'm gonna let Mamba Brown talk. Hold on one second. BP, you have officially broke the fucking game. <laughs> you have broke the fucking game, my boy. To all the sunners out there that has rim protector either on gold or Hall of Fame or or um, intimidate on gold, intimidate on Hall of Fame. Max defensive badges to all my son is out there with the max wing spans that's playing good defense perfectly good defense on these BP builds and y'all can't get a contest and y'all just getting dunked on every single time it's not your fault <laughs> it's not your fault <laughs> I know I know y'all niggas is going through the same thing I'm going through it's not your fault BP you have broke the fucking game <laughs> Protect, I got my rim takeover on, and I can't get a, I can't get a contest. You have broke the fucking game. <laughs> that was the message from Mama Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Now I don't know if a lot of y'all can relate to that. I can't really relate to it just because of the fact that it doesn't happen to me all that often, or it can't. Ha it doesn't happen to me often enough for me to, to say anything about right. Because I, I don't know, like. Like, are y'all getting dunked on like that? Do you feel like the game is broken? I know they nerfed the hop step a little bit. We're going to talk more extensively, extensively about that tomorrow. But, um, like I said, like, I, I, I have not experienced, and it could just be the way that we play defense. We pinch. So as soon as the guy goes by my guy, I step over as the center, and then T goes to the corner so he can't shoot the three, and then so I'm not going to get dunked on. A lot of times when you're getting dunked on, man, it's because you're getting there late or you're out of position. I have very rarely gotten dunked on because I was in position. They've made silly layups when people have come to the paint with the brain dead layups and stuff like that. I, I will say that they've made more of those than I think they should make, but a lot of that has been because somebody else was in the air Area and they don't allow you to get a contest. They won't allow the center to get a contest if somebody's standing in front of him. So if you don't block the shot, then it's not going to happen. So that's why a lot of times centers tell you don't even come in the paint because it's not going to let me play defense. But I've not experienced that that much where I'm just getting dunked on like that. Maybe he's talking about on the twos or something like that. But um, I'll be honest with my center. I got I got uh I got clamps. I got Hall of Fame rim protector intimidator. And I got chase down artists. So it's going to be real hard to dunk on my guy. I'm not saying I don't get dunked on because I definitely have. But I'm just saying, like, not enough for me to be like, dang, this thing is broken. But y'all let me know down in the comments, have y'all had a similar experience or is that cap? And last but not least, hey, this guy I've been a fan of for the last few years. Y'all might want to try to hate on him or whatever. I don't care. I need y'all to listen to my boy Gideon Prime, a.k.a. Apex is free, which... He must be a prognosticator because Apex C is free now. I mean, it's a free game to play. But hey, that's just that's just a joke. Though. Listen to my boy Gideon, man. If you watch this channel well, like ratings, I do, badges, you know what it is. Advantages, basketball situation, speed differential, speed expression, just rating expression. Throw it out the window, 2K20. How could a game be good or respectable or how could they expect us to overlook the, the avalanche of inconsistencies and 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 what the f anomalies I'm with that you. just bombard your senses when you play this game. <laughs> That's Kyle, Kyle Corver. I did everything right. 
I have momentum. I'm catching the ball. I angled it at the right angle. Kyle Korver is out of position. He is sliding, and rightfully so sliding. I'm not saying that he's ice skating, but he's out of position. Look here. Let me show you something, though. This is something right here that I want to show y'all in this that Kyle Korver is doing. This is something when you play basketball that you look for. If you play basketball, you look for this. If his foot is forward, this is the foot that you attack. It is literally impossible for any player in the history of the game, basketball, anybody, if we on the same level and I attack this leg, you cannot swing open and catch back up before I get to the rim or whatever if we on the same level. Like if you obviously if you're a pro and, and I'm not a pro then you could probably do it. You can't swing open. I attack this leg, I'm on your back, you can't get back. So that's 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 an impossible animation in his own right. I'm but we're gonna ignore that. You can't do that. There's no I way that that can happen. Then all of a sudden this, Look, this we are, they own each other. He can't swing he open. Down. Who but, him but, but, but it's cool though. Joe Kim Noah, I gave him a gold break starter. So he can pass out of the break, but he gave him a pass where he had to recover himself and whatever, fine. But even if he does Kyle get Corver back, Kyle Corver's not blocking that. Jimmy Butler. Kyle Corver's never jumped this, this game high. Because of these avalanche of consistent anomalies and insults, this game has to be bad. If 2K's not bad, then what else is bad and what else is good? If 2K is okay, then what else is okay? I'm going to end the video right there. True chases. Hey, like I said, man, I'm always going to rock with my boy Gideon Prime. Y'all probably see him and y'all hate on him and say that the stuff that he's talking about, it ain't Sim, it ain't this, it ain't that. Look, we don't care about the Sim part. We got to get the fundamentals of the game right before we can even proceed to talking about Sim. I watched an excellent video that he put out the other day, and he's talking about people talking, well, if you ain't playing on this, you ain't Sim. If you ain't playing on that, if you ain't got the settings, forget the settings. The game at the core has to be fundamentally sound before we can even talk about anything Sim. Like, yeah, I know my boy, um, we, like, we used to put out, the, they used to put out the sliders and stuff like that. I can't think of his name right now. I used to wear the uh, V for Vendetta mask. He used to put out the sliders so you can figure out how to play Madden the right way. And then he just stopped doing it because it was no point. Um, it was just no point in doing it. It was like, what was the point? Because you can't, you can't get it to a point of Sim because they kept, you know, pushing it the other way. Anyway, the whole point of this video is the reason I'm putting this out because I want y'all to talk. If you like Sim basketball and stuff like that, you just follow Gideon Prime. AKA Apex is free on Twitter. That's his Twitter right there. Type in Gideon Prime, follow him. And also subscribe to him on YouTube, man, because I watch almost all of his videos and in every video, like it, it, it not only, it just shows you that the, the foundation of 2K is not sound. Obviously it's not built in the real world, right? But we gotta get those fundamentals sound before we can do anything else. So before we can even get to the point where Mama Brown is talking about why people are getting dunked on, we gotta get the fundamentals of the game right to where stuff like that, bro, Kyle Corver just blocked Jimmy Butler's shot above the rim, like a foot above the rim, houseway. Kyle Corver can't jump over a dime. He couldn't jump over a dime when he was at Creighton. But hey, it is what it is, man. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Hope you guys made it this far. If you made it this far, give me a gem star down low. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. But let me know who is the better 20-year-old. Uh, Lakers? I mean, not Lakers. <laughs> LeBron James or Luka Doncic? Damn it, I say LeBron James or Luka Doncic. Y'all let me know down in the comments. And if you had to repopulate the human race, do you think you could be this turtle right here, man? Do you think you could? Do you think you could father 800 babies? Cause, 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 you know, I don't know how many. Well, if it's 800 babies, I don't know how many eggs they lay a year or nothing like that. Boot, I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of his name, but yeah, it's a lot of rappers that got a lot of kids. But anyway, cause you, yeah. But do you think you could father 800 kids? I don't know. But anyway, I'm out of here, man. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Godspeed! And if we had to do it, I would do it for the glory of humanity. And I'm out. <laughs> Peace.